All double stops. Uh, we'll take a look at it at the right hand here. Right there, I'm thinking kind of Brad Paisley. -ish. Brad Paisley isk, if that's a word. Or we could use, you know, alternate the fingers to go ring and middle. Yeah, hammer on the seventh fret. G string on the fifth fret. To the seventh, to the eighth. Double stops on the E and E string. Toggle those back and forth one time. And 17th. 14, 15. 17, 18. And 17 and 18. And pick the E string down there below it. Hit it again. Hit the E string again at the 12th fret. Pick it again, release, and then hit the B string again at the 12th fret. So the way I want to play that is slide in and go down in half step increments on this one. So when I catch that low E, rather than letting it ring out, which you could, I mute it with my palm. Get more of a staccato sound. Uh, and then from there we do this walk down in the A chord. So I'll show you the intervals on it, because that's all it is, is intervals. Uh, and then we'll go over it. Um, first of all, I'm thinking here, an A7 chord. And this is uh, Ray Flack. Um, he did something very similar to this on Highway 40 Blues. Hammer on, and then finger comes off. Not off the string, but just brings the tension off so it deadens the string. Same thing here. I re release the pressure on that string to, to deaden it. The correct way to play that is to pick every note instead of doing the hammer-ons. And the way to do that would be a... Let's see, how would I do that? I would do a finger, pick, finger, uh, alternating between the fingers. So I'm going to use a ring finger coming up. Pick going down, and then a middle finger catching the string underneath it. And it would sound like this. Much more staccato, a lot more attack, sounds, sounds better. 